Uh, I'm proud to introduce our new friend, new friend of the show, Eileen Natchik. She is anchor for NBC 33 and Fox 44 covering New Orleans Saints. We talked a little bit about the Saints earlier uh, on the show and a little bit before she showed up. And she's got more of the inside scoop than we do. So welcome to the studio. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Um, talk a little bit about you. Where, give me your background. Where are you from? How, what brought you to Louisiana? Because I know you're not from here. Mm-hmm. So. Which is, I hear sin around here. No, no, no. Look, we yeah. welcome everybody in Louisiana. Open arms. Everybody. Yeah, we you welcome. You call me friend. So I yeah, you're a friend. Feel yep. You're now a friend. Um, well, well, I feel, uh, is it, it okay if I say I'm from Tampa? It's okay. Tampa's fine. I love Tampa. What, is, is it not Tampa? Is it right outside of Tampa? So it's north of Tampa. Where? It's 45 minutes north of oh, Tampa. Oh, you're, doing, Wiki, you're yeah. doing the thing where it's like I'm from New Orleans, but it's actually right. like I'm outside of New Orleans. Exactly. It's just easier to well, say no, this. No one knows what WikiWatchy is. Wiki 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 Washi? Yeah. Wiki Wat Watchy. Wiki Wiki Watchy. Like Watchy. Yeah. That's, oh. Is that like the name of the street you lived on, or is that <laughs> like the town? <laughs> Actually, the street's called Mississippi Run. Wow. It's wow. also kind of interesting. Close, huh? I probably shouldn't say that. Uh, Mississippi Run on Wiki Watchy. <laughs> yeah, actually. Well, Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. Huh? <laughs> I'm just my parents' house, so hey, you know, how about it? What's your social security uh, number? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, 45 minutes north of Tampa. Um, I, I didn't I didn't tell you this. I was basically uh, raised on a farm, pretty much. Yeah, wow. I was oh, like wow. uh, my grandparents. They they owned a farm like 20 minutes north of where I'm actually from. So uh, yeah, spent a lot of time there uh, with uh, American Quarter Horses and and Black Angus. That's and awesome. Santa, nice. I know my my stuff there. I see that. That's good. Um, yeah. So from there, uh, went to college in East Carolina, and then moved to Virginia for work. Moved back to Florida for work and then moved here a year ago. And you're a collegiate so, athlete, right? Is that yeah, kind of what got you retired. into the sports world? Kind of. Sports, yeah. I basically, I mean, I, I grew up in sports. Uh, my dad played um, professionally and then my mom, she played softball in college and then my aunt played volleyball in college. My uncle played baseball in college. My other aunt played basketball in college. Very athletic family. Oh, okay, yeah, Jesus. So, oh, yeah, it's, it was kind of, you know. You never had a chance. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? If I wanted to be like anything else, It'd absolutely be a scientist. not. Yeah. Yeah. I want to People go to the moon. Like, no, yeah. you got to play volleyball. Yeah, no, You're going to exactly. be a scientist. So, well, the way this family's set up. I'm yeah, you know, that's right. what bank account set up is, yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to <laughs> yeah, so. get back out there and practice. And so this is your first year covering the Saints, It correct? is. It is. How have you liked it? I love it. This, to me, this this area, South Louisiana, Louisiana in general. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can say is, South Louisiana. South Louisiana, North Louisiana, the same state, is but different, yeah, a little yeah, different. Yeah. Is yeah, the, most, <laughs> the most great people from North passionate Louisiana. Passionate fan base, passionate people I've ever, I think, exists. Like, way more than I, I think Philly First gives statement. y'all a run. Yeah, and that's true. That's true. I think Philly and, you know, Saban country give y'all a run. No, I will. But I think South Louisiana, Louisiana in general is so passionate. And it's really, really cool. I mean, you ask random person on the side of the street, what's Drew Brees' grandma's middle name? And they're like, oh, it's Clarice. Oh, like, they know everyone, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, which has been really, really fun and challenging for me too, like as a journalist right. too, you know, you got to make sure like, you know, yeah. your stuff. Um, but it, yeah, it's been, it's been fun. It's been well, we're going to test you, see how much you know on your stuff. <laughs> All right, right, let's go. <laughs> um, okay. So obviously you've adapted to South Louisiana. It's your first year covering the Saints. The Saints, mm-hmm. I don't want to say historically because, you know, they've mm-hmm. had their poor history before, but over the last 20 years right. or so, not almost 20, but 15 years, They've been one of the better yeah. franchises in, in the NFL. New coach, a lot of new guys. Everybody came here with some high expectations. A lot of people didn't really know what was going to happen, but yeah. high expectations. Hasn't gotten off to the start that they wanted to. Um, you cover them. You're kind of in the locker room. What's the vibe and the feeling in the locker room um, that you've kind of started to notice? Yeah, um, I think it kind of started with Carolina. Like the The vibe after that was like, all right, this is this is interesting. This is kind of confusing, right? And then um, the loss to the Bengals was like very, very disappointing. Like I, I almost felt like just as kind of disappointed as they were. Like they thought they were gonna win. It, yeah. I mean, it was. Uh, yeah, they they expected to. They had that, that expectation, and um, in the locker room after it was just like it was very, very quiet. You know, you you felt the tension of everyone. You felt everyone just be like we we should have won that game yeah. right 
Um, and then the card, the loss of Cardinals, just like straight up embarrassing, mm. straight up embarrassing. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously you 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 guys watch that game yep. like it was. It well, was... I was not. I was actually at the Astros game, mm. and I wasn't watching. Oh, it. And right. then I and then I looked at my I was, looked at my phone. We're up fourteen six. I looked at my phone. We're down twenty eight fourteen. I was like, yeah. How does that happen? And then yeah. obviously the, yeah. I go back and I watch the highlights. I'm like, well, that's how yeah. it happens. I see it, two pick sixes, and yeah. you know that's kind of what happens. A different version I, of the two minute drill. Yeah. I think one one hundred percent the um, the interception that Dalton threw in traffic in the end zone that right before that that changed everything. Yeah. Yeah. That changed yeah. everything. Um, and if for my opinion, my opinion, there was a lot of oh, you know, why is um, Kyler talking to his coach like that. I mean, you, you saw them like mm-hmm. arguing on yeah. the sideline. Mm-hmm. That yeah. was like a big topic yeah. after the game. I was like, where is that with the Saints? Like, where is that fire? Because all season long, they've, they've been kind of like, we're not, we're not tripping. We're not, you know, we're not stressed out. Like, this is not panic mode yet. I think after that loss, they're now like, so, this is, yeah. I'm glad, well, I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. I was wanting to know, like, is the field, because we haven't really seen mm-hmm. uh, this team healthy and play together mm-hmm. yet. Now, look, I get it. This is the NFL. Everybody's dealing with injuries. It's how it's how it's like the lay of the land, right? Mm-hmm. Is it a feeling in that like locker room that it's like, hey, look, once we get these guys back, we can start to make a run and we can start to we can start to go. Is that what you feel like has been a lot of the not fire, not yeah. panic feeling is coming from? Yeah. Well, Den- Dennis Allen has, has said a lot. Like, it would be great to to have you know Jarvis back, Michael Thomas back. Right. Uh, they obviously just lost, lost Adam Troutman, um, Andrews P. I mean, the list goes on, right? right. Um, James. I would be hope. <laughs> Jameis. Yeah, yeah, Jameis. Uh, Michael would... Thomas might be on the team. Of, you know, <laughs> one of those guys. <laughs> I would, I would be hopeful that you get Jarvis back. Um, you get Adam Troutman back. Not a too serious injury. Andrews Pete. Uh, the conversation about Jameis coming back. Uh, will be had a little bit later in the week. They never he never really likes to Because was he dressed out last week? He 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 was no, dressed last week, but yeah. I don't really know yeah. if he was active. I think he was like emergency probably. Right, yeah. yeah. Um but to answer your question, he has mentioned that. Like it'd be great to get everyone healthy. Right. But there's there's literally no excuse. Yeah. I, I think that their um number twos in terms of receivers are very talented. Yeah. I think they're very talented. Um Dalton is a, a credible backup. Mm-hmm. I I think the problem has been the defense has always, you know, had had leaders, right? Yeah. Like, what is the offense's identity right now? We we don't know. Who if I asked you who's the leader on the offense right I now, would you tell me? Probably. You can't tell me. And I think that's been a really been the issue. Right. Um, and actually, for the first time after the Cardinals game, uh, Traquan Smith told Cat uh, Terrell. Uh, ESPN mm-hmm. reporter uh, after cameras went away and stuff he was like she, that was the first time Alvin Kamara gave a speech after the game so he gave a speech after the game and was like this is not Saints football yeah we have lost our swagger what's going on and I don't I wasn't I wasn't there when that happened so I don't know how loud he yelled right. if he yelled at all or what you know exactly right. was said but he Traquan also said that that was the first time someone has stepped up in that manner to like hold everyone accountable and that was actually really surprising to me because i didn't know that and to me it then clicked i was like i feel like that i feel like that's probably like what it is because i think they're way too talented to be two and five right now they should should be five and And you go and you go through a year or really years having sean and drew there right Right. so you already knew who your leaders were right right and then every year you'd have one or two leaders well then you had cam jordan at the end, right? So then you had right. him plus one or two other people would come on the defense every year. Now, right now, it's him and Demario Davis. You know the leaders there. You knew the leaders were offensively, and that was going to be Drew, and that was going to be Sean Payton. So everybody was going to be on the same mm-hmm. same page. Everybody now they leave, kind of abruptly. Like you knew you knew uh, right. Drew was leaving, but like Sean, yeah, Sean was kind of like a it was a bombshell. Like nobody really expected yeah. that. Maybe maybe in the in the in the building they did, but yeah. no one else really did, right? So now. You're trying to figure out okay, who's going to take over this leadership role offensively. Who's going to bring everybody together? Yeah. And the fact that you said Alvin had that talk mm-hmm. makes me feel a little bit better. Right. Now, what also makes me feel better is that the division stinks. <laughs> yeah. Right? Count your blessings yeah, because <laughs> All right. literally New it, NFC least. This is the <laughs> NF, it used to be the NFC. What were the Cowboys? Uh, NFC South? No, we're the South. We're the NFC. South. They're, the, they're the East. East. Yeah. 
right? I feel like everyone besides the Eagles right now are just like right. not playing great football. Yeah. Exactly. So now that you you know that you can kind of get back into it, you're really only a game back, right? right. You have you're tied with the uh, Falcons. You're t- mm-hmm. no. We're in last it's- place. You're tied with the yeah in last place. We're in last but you, place. You're two and five, but the other two teams are yeah. three and four. Right. We're I think the, the, I know best, the best case scenario. I wrote this down because it can get confusing, right? Yeah. Is and tell me if y'all feel differently or have seen differently that the best case scenario: the Saints win, right? Bucks lose, and the Falcons can beat the Panthers. Yeah, because we have the tiebreaker of the Falcons. Right. So that's like the best case scenario for it to happen at least right now. Yeah. But it's it's actually crazy that they could still be in it and, and being two and five. Right. So, yeah. and good. Yeah. No, you, I mean, it's very disappointing because you saw last season and all the adversity that they face, external adversity. Demario Davis said in an interview today, they have literally created their own adversity. Yeah. Like they have created this adversity. So, I think the pan, I don't want to say panic mode, panic button. Um, is but, your hand on it? Oh, now it is, yeah. It's not he, pressed, he said it, it's just on it. it uh, I don't know, it might be pressed. He, he, said today, he said today in an interview, he was like, where the ur- sense of urgency is, is now there. Like, it's there. And the thing that I like about uh, this team is they, no one's like pointing fingers. Right. Like, yeah. the defense is sitting there saying, we need to play better. Yep. You know, and it, I mean, they do, but like yeah. I, I would point at the right. offense needs to, you know, step yeah, up. Yeah, we get Elvin now, Kamara yeah. in the end zone. All these, yeah, that too. All the injuries obviously pile up. Right. When do you expect or anticipate everybody being back, or at least a lot of the guys coming back? Because you've heard for a few weeks now, like, hey, well, Michael Thomas isn't that far off. Mm-hmm. And you've heard Jarvis Landry's making <clears> progress. You hear Jameis is like, hey, we're going to give him a few more weeks. When is when is when can we expect to see like a full offensive lineup yeah yeah back. that's a great question a full offensive lineup i don't think i'd expect that this week okay um a full ex- i would maybe say the week after if not the week after that but like i said earlier and if not that week if not that <laughs> week if not that week week, the week 17 well, so, yeah. not that week <laughs> well, they've had of 10 days of rest that's what i mean that's, yeah. what, I'm, that's why i'm right. asking that question yeah yeah um i i would i would definitely consider Jameis, <coughs> excuse me, to play possibly this weekend, be in the conversation. <coughs> excuse me. It's all right. We There's beer water. right there if you it's need right. it. I feel like allergies. Yeah, hey. Good God. South Louisiana is good for a lot of things. Allergies not <laughs> I'm allergic not so to much. everything, too. That yeah. doesn't help. Yeah, allergies <laughs> not so much down here. Um, yeah. I would expect him to be in the conversation. Um, <coughs> Landry. All right, we do this all the time. Yeah, Landry. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Landry, I, I think Troutman will play this weekend. I think maybe Andrus. Um, well, I, I don't, dude. Oh. I don't know. I Michael Thomas has been a toss up. Uh, the toe, what is it? Toe turf. I believe it that he is turf toe. Yeah, turf toe. Yeah, yeah I believe when I see him get back to practice, he hasn't even been practicing. Turf toe looks. So. Listen now, turf toe sucks. If you have it bad enough. It's, have any of y'all had it? Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it stinks. I've dealt with I it don't now. have COVID. You learn it. I don't have COVID. COVID's over. COVID's over with. COVID's over with. We're we don't, we don't talk There's about There's a new COVID. variant yeah. out. No, we're like, the, 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 <coughs> allergies. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> I swear. We don't talk, we don't talk about COVID. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> um, Cancer, ever heard of it? Yeah, right? <laughs> is, is there some feel, not necessarily around this team, but around, maybe around the fans and, and, and people around New Orleans that like Dennis Allen may be like there. on the hot seat? <laughs> like, Oh, uh, I don't, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. I wouldn't say that. Um, now, what if I mean, now? This isn't this isn't a few question. Of, got a lot what of if Sean back. Payton says I'm coming back next year to coach? Do they say okay? Uh, if you come back, we're firing Dennis Allen. I don't think he's coming back to the Saints. Obviously, he's probably no. going to the Cowboys. But I actually brought that up to someone the other day. I was like, "What if Sean Payton came back?" And they're like, "I don't think I don't think that would happen." He would, uh, like he, I, I'm a very bit like what if person. Yeah, what yeah, if yeah. this? What if that? That's like my toxic trait, I guess. You know, what if this? I don't think that would happen. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say Dennis Allen's on the hot seat, though. Yeah. So. Well, I'd like to see them would, win some more games. Would Dennis Allen just be like, "Hey, look, I, I, this is my second time trying to be head coach. Didn't work out in Oakland. Obviously, now the Las Vegas Raiders. That place is toxic." But would not he anymore. Just, <clears throat> I think it's. I know, I think but, it's no, but would he? Look, I know, but would he slide seven, back look, and just be like, "Hey, I hey, love being defensive coordinator here." Seven in. I don't think he's on the hot seat yet, but. 
Wait, said, there's if, ten to go. Here's the deal. If there's it were to, to keep going this way, I think that is a. There's ten to go. You would think that the way the division's shaping up, with the teams not playing very well. Nine, eight wins? <clears throat> nine wins can win a division, maybe? Yeah, I think nine right? wins is a very strong chance of winning the division. So you you have to win seven of ten. Yeah. If that's the case. Somebody's gotta get hot. Gotta get hot. Somebody you has to. Gotta play well. I mean I would I would hope and it I would hope, everyone would hope, and expect that the Saints like they need to they need to beat the Raiders, right? And then go on a run and get hot. Right. Like that like needs to happen. And I expect that to happen. If they lose to the Raiders, yeah. I don't know. Well here and here's the deal. Like you look at before the season started, if you looked at the schedule, you're like, damn, starting with uh Cincinnati, like that stretch of five games is probably the hardest stretch of the season, right? And still may be, but Cincinnati wasn't coming off playing great football right. when we played them. Oakland's right. been very inconsistent. LA's been very inconsistent. Uh, who else do we have in that? No, this has been no, bad. The, the Cardinals Ravens. have been very inconsistent. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, Cardinals have been bad. The Cardinals LA's have been, been bad, bad, too. Yeah. And then it's just so so now, like, those games that you felt like, and that may be tough, but you felt like, oh, we're not. They're, they seem like, okay, if we write the ship, we can win it, right? Mm-hmm. And You sound like the Saints right now. <laughs> like just trying to explain it. Well, I'm then, just saying, like, <laughs> yeah. they maybe lose. So, they, they, they're seven games in, and they've, they've been in every single game. Now, they haven't made the, the play that they needed to win to win the game, but yeah. they've been in every game. Yeah, and and uh, DeMario said today, we, we need to get our swagger back. How do you do that? How do you do that? First of all, win. you win. You win and you get some confidence back, so they need, they need to beat the Raiders. And then um, from there, I feel like you get in a groove, and they yep. haven't been able to do that. And I think that also takes everybody being on the same page – and everybody feeling a sense of urgency, like yeah. uh, in a uh, what was it the um, the Bengals post game interview with Adam Troutman? He was like, "We're not. We didn't hit panic mode. Like we didn't hit." And I'm like, "Okay, now it's panic mode. Everyone should be on panic mode." Yeah, well, like, which is well, fine. Well, we'll ask this question then: If it was, we need to get our swagger back. Mm-hmm. New coach, new situation, two and five start. Did it have the feel that everyone was really bought in from the start? Yeah, one hundred percent. Demario said today, "This is literally not where anyone expected to be," and I was sold. I mean, I was getting in heated debates with you know guys at the bar, like they're Super Bowl contenders. I'm sure you can't guys tell me I'm otherwise. Sure guys love that. I yeah. loved it. No, they, I, that. they were they were like, "No, they're not." Like, no, they're not. I'm like, "We have." This we have that we have. This is the reason. Like really, like back you up. Charge that you got tired. Yeah, right. They're watching now. I'm like, man, I. Oh, Just wait. I was Just, wrong. We'll I'll admit I you. was wrong. Well, then yeah. you draft, <laughs> then, still... then you draft Olave, and you're like, damn, this is the best receiver room I think the Saints may have ever had. Yeah. And then, then like they they haven't they been. Played, they've only been on the yeah, field together played. for what one game, and yeah. then Olave was a, like the first game of his yeah. career, so like it's not going to be. Yeah. You know, I'd expect when they come back, Alave has obviously been balling out. Yeah. He's been he's really a gem, good. He's truly. Right? Like, he he's, really is good. He's a bright spot and really special for And them. so you would imagine, like, hey, he's back. Okay, now he kind of already knows his role. Michael mm-hmm. Thomas knows his role. Jarvis, you would assume yeah, that they would be able to fit right in. Bench. Okay, negative Nancy. Well, right? I'm just he's saying. Just, I mean, he's, he has a hurt. He's injured. He's <laughs> hurt. Brad Roberts got shot, and he's on the football field. Yeah, he missed some games, though. Toe he hurt. missed some games, though. I bet. Missed some games. He got back. I have confidence. Listen, I don't. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Me either. I like they, to see. Him. Have either. you met Lloyd yet? By the way, I don't know if you've met him yet. <laughs> <laughs> I told you she was gonna snag it. No doubt. Um, but like you know, it's you. It seems like when you watch them play, mm-hmm. they are in every. And it's, it's like a stretch of like four minutes, and it's like oh, the game's <laughs> over in four minutes, right? Like you played the Bucks, you had the game under control. Yeah. You fumble. All of a sudden. Four minutes later, you're down two touchdowns. Yeah. yeah. You have the game under control against um, against Cincinnati. You go down there, you don't score a touchdown, game's over in four minutes. Same thing with with uh, the yeah. Cardinals. It's just like all these things happen. You're in every game. You're winning games. You feel like – I'm watching the game. I'm thinking you're dominating this game, and all of a sudden you look up and you're like, how did we lose that? Right. You know, it just feels like they're so close. Yeah. And I don't know how you fix that. Yeah. To t- to go ahead. No, I, I agree with you. Um, I think – I, I think they might not even know. I think that's you know what they're yeah. what they're trying to figure out and um, go back. They're not to, careful. They're not careful. Be it's careful. gonna become a pelican. Be careful. Dangerous. 
If you're not, that's well, a Russell well, Zion's got to sell Russell Wilson too, commercial. So. It, oh, okay. It's a Subway commercial. <laughs> if, yeah, if they're not do, careful, if they're yeah. not careful, they're going to become a Pelicans town because the Pelicans are, you know, exciting and doing whatever. But well, what I was going to say, it's almost like the anti LSU. Like LSU is doing the same things that like everything the Saints are doing. The LSU is doing the opposite, where the Saints are up early in every game. It feels like in control. Then it goes haywire. LSU is out of every game, and then flip the switch. If you put them together. That would be great and yeah, play a complete that's, game. Okay, well, I don't think that's what you can do. I know, uh, but I'm just no. I'm just saying from a like a perspective. A what of, if? A yeah, what, what if? Your what if? You're back to your what if. You're back to your what ifs. Um, I mean, I'd like to see him Louisiana. Well, no, just say that, like yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like the Louisiana. It's this is what Louisiana is. You either get one or the other. Yeah, I mean, eh. What? You can have the best of both worlds. 2019. <laughs> no, that was just one side. Was just I one know, side. that's all I don't see one. I don't know. I'm an optimist. I'm, Me too. I'm okay, a big so, optimist. So Me too. From your optimistic all, she's mind. the only pessimist in this. So, we got, your, if, so what are you? I'm an optimist. Oh, I'm, a realist. I'm, a, I'm a realist. I'm a realist. I'm a Pisces. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Hey, she's just so, she likes signs. You're a Pisces, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm a fish. Emotional. <laughs> Oh, he's definitely no high. He's definitely there not. A, he's definitely the not highs. emotional. <laughs> uh, definitely high. <laughs> <laughs> um, so wait, all right. So then, big optimist, ten day stretch, kind of get to watch the Cardinals game away. What is your expectations of what you'll see the next time they go out and play? Um, I think and I hope that they are going to be angry, motivated, and there's no other option but but winning i i think they pull out a win on uh sunday i think they do i hope so but I, I, but I also thought other things and was wrong about yeah, that me so. too. i mean but that's the optimist in us I, you know <laughs> i uh i mean listen they, they, don't, they don't play they don't play bad they haven't played bad football they just played they've had just bad sports. outside of one game but yeah yeah, yeah. yeah outside, but they just yeah, played bad they're bad good sports. good team playing bad football yeah the yeah. carolina yeah. panthers was bad football that was yeah. a bad game can't happen uh, can't it, uh, it really Arizona cannot games kind of there's no gimme games game. yeah true yeah, they didn't play very well in that game sure. coming yeah, off yeah I mean, yeah. coming off the arizona game is that going to be the impetus to put Jameis in? do you think that kind of almost had to happen because andy has played Somewhat Solid. well. He's managed yeah. the game, but yeah, after you see him do... No, that's th- the reason he was there, that's is a, to manage it. That's a great point. Um, I I think that was an opportunity and a chance for him to honestly maybe take James's starting role, right? right? Didn't do that. That game proved that Jameis should be the starting quarterback. Um, so, yeah. Do you have a feel from like the fan base that... So you watch... You watch the Cowboys have their starting quarterback go down. Backup comes in, yeah. no name. They go four and one. Right. They're right in the thick of everywhere they want it to be. Mm-hmm. Do you have a feel that the the New Orleans fan base is kind of down on how this is going down when Jameis is going down, and it, the team really hasn't found its footing at all? And during this time, I think fans here like <laughs> it's actually it's it's really awesome. It's awesome if. A team loses or a player plays poorly. Yeah. Families go home at dinner and it's silent. Oh, yeah. Like, they're oh, hurting. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's painful. And I think, um, I think that uh, they're right there with them. And that if things start to go well for the Saints, then, like, is that kind of answers your question? Yeah, I was kinda, yeah. well, because here's like the deal. You go in the Superdome, right? And the yeah. Superdome is known for being electric and whatever. But, like... When they don't win, the yeah. Superdome can be real quiet. When you, now, that's, that's very true. That that's is, very true. Let's be honest. Like If you walk out of a, a Saints mm. loss, yeah, that is it, a it very is quiet. quiet dome to walk out of. 100%. It's, even even if it's one that goes up until the end, like that's a very quiet dome to walk yeah. out of. I don't, I don't think fans have written them off right. at all. I think they're right there with them. And I, I, I literally think fans are like waiting to be like, we're waiting for you to, yeah. to turn this season right. around. And yeah. My my question a few days ago was kind of like, what are they playing for right. at this point until we kind of found out that they're, they still have a chance of mm-hmm. making the playoffs? I'm like, are, like look, p- play for pride. Right. Like, this is such an iconic team and fan base. And like, you're you're the New Orleans Saints. Like, right. I I literally think they they for I go in the locker room. You're the New Orleans Saints. Get it together. <laughs> <laughs> like, who is this? Wardell. Who is this reporter? <laughs> 
<laughs> Who is this reporter from Wikiwachi, Florida, telling us what to do? Right? Mississippi Run yeah. over here. It's <laughs> crazy that you say that because 25 years <laughs> It's from Tampa. 25 years ago, you couldn't say that about the Saints. You right. couldn't say I was an iconic organization. They right. were the Aints, right? Like, they weren't very good. Yeah. Yeah. They had one, like, one playoff game in their, in their history. Mm-hmm. Now... You've built it up to being one of the best, most well-run organizations and iconic to where like, hey, you yeah. know you're going to see them, it's going to be a dogfight, it's going to be loud, and you just kind of feel like we've lost yeah. that over the last couple of years. So I'm with you. I think if you have to give somebody, especially Louisiana fans, something to buy back into. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if you do... It's a little glimmer of hope in there. It's 100%. In. It. I think the hope is still there, 100%. Hope. See, that's the big word, hope. hope. There you yeah, go. Hope. I admit it. We're the worst division in football. I have hope. <laughs> I mean, if you can't beat the Panthers, who apparently found their next head coach, I don't even know who it I, is. I know. I know. Oh, you I mean the guy I, that's kicking guys out of games? Yeah. Robbie <laughs> Anderson, get you, get, go get traded. That guy also was a failed head coach. Yeah. Um, that was rude. At Arizona, right? Was it Arizona? <laughs> he was in Arizona. And then, one year. Uh, what? One year. Yeah, one year. It wasn't very good. But Wilkes. Wilkes, yeah. Is that his name? Um, Cliff took his job. How's that going? Cliff ain't going to be there much longer either, I don't <laughs> think. Beat the I don't know. I know. Why yeah, is that? I don't know. They got Saints a little screaming match. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who? You didn't Cliff see. And Kyler. Oh, yeah. And he yeah, argued right. with his child. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kyler looks oh, like a child. Maybe yeah. Kyler right. specifically yeah. told him some very choice words that were very. You could read the lips on those. What do you say? How do you guys feel about that? I don't mind it. The encounter. Well, it depends. Between them. I don't mind it. Just judging off of Cliff's uh, demeanor after. It seems like he felt like he was kind of overboard or whatever he did because he there was no like it just stopped after. Uh, just a, it, to me, it depends on like like was that you, di- like, do you think that was is, disrespectful? Eh, it depends it just, on their relationship. Yeah, yeah it depends on the relationship. But, but you also don't in the respect. Like, have you earned that yet? Like Tom Brady's earned that whenever he can get in the offensive corner of his face right now. Well, uh, those two are married. Tom's to going him through too, some so things right now. Tom's Tom Tom Brady's also Tom Brady. Tom's lost some weight in the face. You have looks like Skeletor. <laughs> yeah, I think the TB12 is a little... It's it's too, yeah. I don't know if it's TB12 or maybe the impending divorce that's going... I don't know what's happening with Tom. Tom's doing some, some, he's he's going through out. some things right now. You can't now. say that, man. We can't put that on his life. I'm not. I am. ETV I know or you whoever are. TMZ put that out there. Lloyd, <laughs> Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd works for page six. Turn, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying anything about that. What do you, no, you, think, what do you think about yeah, Tom? No, no. Leave that, just leave no. that here because Lloyd will literally... He'll, I'll he'll let drag you, guys, you in. I'll let y'all talk about that. He'll drag you in. The whole point is you have guys that have earned the respect to be able to go up to a coach and disagree with that coach, right? I don't think as Kyler has earned that. Now, I don't know how the interaction... I don't know what was said, yeah. to, but... Kyler literally had a clause in his contract that he had to watch film. To me, that shows you that you haven't earned anything yet, right? And then you've played like poo poo this year, and like how how can you it's come very out and say, you know, I mean, like, how can you say, oh yeah, by the way, you know, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get my my head coach's face. Like, I just I don't think he's earned that, but I don't know how the interaction well, started. I mean, it's such a weird situation because you're not wrong. He hasn't earned that, but has Cliff. Kingsbury earned, earned, earned no, their respect there, earned. so you, like you get what I'm saying. Like it's a very weird dynamic Did they have. Earned there. the NFL job. Cliff wasn't very good at Texas. That, that's my yeah. point. So my point is, is like, all right, well, did he earn this too? Because like, I guess you know the respect should kind of yeah. be, and Perfect it's not marriage. really what you got there. Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't like. It didn't throw me off, but it's also one of those times where it's like. Camera caught something that you don't usually get a chance to catch. Like you don't usually get a chance to see those reactions. And cameras catch everything now. And if you're, oh, <laughs> they're all over. Oh, they're everything. all over. Yeah. Everything. There's no secrets on the sideline. Anymore. And if you're the Saints, you you lost that game. Whatever they're having a. a and this was early match. on too. Yeah, it was like it was boiling over to the point where you could have buried the Cardinals, and instead, yeah. you end up throwing three picks. So like you would would you think that like the Saints would be like that on the sideline. Like, right. I, I honestly... I don't think they I, have that relationship yet, where they're, like, good, bad, or indifferent. They don't know DA or is like that. Well, the, or is that the vibe? They don't have the them. same... In my mind, they don't have the same camaraderie, whether it be good or bad, like, with... Andy Dalton's not going to do that. Jameis mm-hmm. is going to do that. Jameis loves to fight, though. He got his hands in somebody's <laughs> well, eyes also... again. <laughs> But I think those happen too there's, between there's no like con- there's no continuity whether it be good or bad. Well, I the think Saints don't even have that much of a rapport to even get in a fight yet. Yeah, I, but I think you get I think you get those kind of like situations whether you actually see it or you don't between quarterback, play caller, head coach situations, yeah. and that yeah. the Saints don't have that. And I, right. In a sense of like Dennis Allen's a defensive play caller, yeah. like, so you're not going to get that. And so. I think that I think you're kind of spot on with there's not a leader on the offense. Like nobody stepped up to be that guy, right? If there was that guy. 
He would be the but, one to but, step up. Yeah, and do dude, that. But, but that's why, like, it's weird when you watch him play this year because it's Drew was the leader for ever. Like mm-hmm. it was known, right? And then now, two games into it, you're you're starting quarterback who is you know inherently you would think would take over the leader spot. Well, he's got. His back's messed 18 up. 18 injuries. And so now he's not on the field. So now there's where you're trying to – because think right. about it. If you think about those last couple of years in his in Drew's career when he was hurt, they spotted a little bit. They kind of stayed around the 500, right over 500. But you kind of saw some of the same stuff. And then when he come back, it was, you know, a well, jolt is, of life a little bit. Is that weird for Jameis to speak up if he's not playing? Like, can he no, still I, be in the locker room being like, you get your stuff together, yeah, you get your he stuff can, together? Yeah, but I think it's a, you know. It's, or is it like, a, like I, I don't know It just know works it different when level. you're out there and when you're not. Or, there is, yeah. you know, it there's just also, is. There's also the side of it that, you know, maybe they are calm because they do have that quiet confidence. Like, hey, you know what? Like, right. We have the we know that we have the ability and we know that we have the players and we know that we've been in eight, all of the games that we've played in. So we need to do our job, but we're confident in doing our job and we can write the ship. Maybe that now that's my optimist coming out of me. But like, there's also the other there's also the other side of it. Like, hey, and maybe I, you don't yeah. need maybe they do have the fire. They just yeah. don't need to vocalize it. I don't know. And I and I do think you're right. Like, getting your swagger back comes with winning a game. But I sincerely think for them to really get their swagger back. They need the dudes that are supposed to be dudes yeah. on that team on the field. Well, and one play can do it, right? Like, yeah, every game has happened. You've lost the game because you haven't made the play to win. Right. Yeah. You made the opposite play. Yeah. The other team has made the play. Jamar Chase is the sixty-yard touchdown catch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't make the tackle, right? Now, mm-hmm. you flip that. Okay. Now let's make this weekend. Maybe they say, okay, we're gonna go in the third quarter, fourth quarter, whenever that play happens. You make that play. Sack, fumble, pick six. 60 yard touchdown. Yeah. And you're like, okay, oh, and you feel like everybody can exhale, like, okay, we're back. And then you just kind of, that's how you can kind of start, yeah. start they, the train. They did that. They scored on like the second play of the game to somebody. That's not that, but that's not, that's not a pivotal They make in explosive the game. plays, yeah. but they, they also give up as many. Right. They're yeah. running out of toes to right. shoot. Right. I'm not talking about the kind of needs to happen. Play. I'm talking when, about the, in the pivotal moment of yeah. the game. Yeah. Like it kind of needs play. to happen when there's either, like, like you said, pivotal moment, close game, either, or you're getting blown out or beat early in a game you're and you turn the, it on finally and you turn the game around. You're playing it the Bucks. It has to happen in a situation And like there's that. a penalty. You lose, you lose the fumble and then the guy, and then Tom makes the one throw of the entire game that he made and there's a touchdown. Maybe you bat that down. Okay, that's the one. You know what I mean? Like yeah. those plays, like the 50-50 plays that you think that, okay, one way or the other, that's going to determine the game. Like we haven't really made those. They haven't made those. I'm not part of the team. I'm just a fan. <laughs> just a fan. I'm just yeah, a fan. I mean, I think the, the questions are like, is – is that play calling? Is that because we don't have our best players out on the right. field right now? Like no one, I feel like really knows exactly what yeah. it is. And right. again, I don't even think they quite know exactly what it is. I just think like they always preach any, any time we talk to them, they're like next man up mentality. Now, obviously you're talking to camera. So like, what, what are you saying behind? Like, I don't know, but they, they always say, next man up mentality which is why i even feel like i've kind of bought into that which is why you know you you say they they do need their best players back but i I almost feel like that's that's not an excuse and it's not a reason for them to lose because their next man up mentality like this this player is just as good as like or important as you know the ones who aren't on the field so i don't know i feel you i agree but i also expect more from their teams i guess 100 percent um, I mean, I hope, hopefully they write the ship. Hopefully you're right and they get a win this weekend. Yeah, and I'll be there. I'll let y'all know. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> let y'all know the details. So you go to every game? Uh, every home game. Every home game. Yeah, I went to the Falcons game. Any um, away games? Just the Falcons this okay. season. Um, I don't typically travel. Okay, so I actually, I went, <laughs> <laughs> I went last year um, to the away game and uh, I kind of killed two birds with one stone, like went home to see my family, but also Work. covered. The, yeah, and I was like. Do you get caught in the traffic going home? That's kind of a long ride. Uh, I flew. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. But, <laughs> but uh, I was like, man, I, I, I shouldn't have done that. It's hard. It was like you get in like hanging out with your family and then, yeah. oh, you got to go to work. But, I mean, going to work is covering Saints, so yeah. I didn't mind. Try having much. them come visit you in the middle of the yeah, New York stink. City when you have to do, want to do all these things you can. You got to go, damn, I got to go to the field. For 18 hours in the day. Things that you're yeah. complaining about right now are um, <laughs> yeah. <Thinking> long. <laughs> Very good point. Because um, Lloyd's the optimist, so you know. This yeah, is exactly. yeah. um, Let me swim. We, uh, I appreciate you coming in. Yeah, thanks fun. for having me. Sorry you're, you're, for. 
I'm not having COVID. Having no, you cough don't. Attack. No, 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 you don't. No, it no doesn't apologies. happen to me in like years. No Remember apologies you needed. It must be the studio. It must I, yeah. be a, yeah, but something no, in here. Listen, can't come back. Listen, we do. He coughs more than anybody I know. <laughs> I don't have a voice. Lloyd, I'm right Lloyd has thrown up on set before. <laughs> so okay, I don't. I don't feel as bad. Yeah, yeah, so you're good. Listen, it's part of the show. It's, it's what you get. You can hang yeah. out. We have like 12 minutes left in the show. You can hang out the rest of the show cool. and just kind of let us close it out. But yeah. um we appreciate you coming in. Yeah, thanks happy, for having happy me. Happy that you're fun. in Louisiana. Have you, have you enjoyed Baton Rouge, I'm assuming? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I good. am allergic to shellfish, so I haven't been able to enjoy it. Oh, so that's what you yeah. wow. That's what it was. That's that's you and, uh, yeah, that's what it, You guys yeah. got some shrimp in here? Yeah, yeah we do have oysters. Damn, so you can't eat. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. Wait, that low-key no, 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 might... No, no, you're no, no, lying. I'm not. You're no, lying. Have, have, that might be what it is. In the freezer. Bayou Carlin Oyster Co. What the shuck every Monday. <laughs> no, because my throat like literally close up and I'm okay. Oh wow. so I we got to get, get out of here. We're we gonna we kill her in here. Was, Jesus, Lord, you gotta let her know that. I didn't do it. It's your fault. You didn't Wait, fill out the, the, you fill out the form we asked about if you had any food allergies. You didn't fill out the questionnaire. You didn't fill out the questionnaire. I didn't sign the waiver. Yeah, jeez. Okay. Um,